kiwi. The apple pie. Once upon a time, there was an old woman named Hazel. Apple pie was her all-time favorite food. One day, Hazel said, "I will bake an apple pie tonight." She looked around her kitchen and happily said to herself, "I have plenty of flour. I have plenty of butter. I have plenty of sugar, and I have plenty of spice." I can make 10 apple pies tonight. Then all of a sudden she remembered, "Oh dear. I have no apples." But she really wanted to eat an apple pie. At last, she had an idea. In her backyard was a tree full of yummiest peaches in the whole town. She took her basket out to her backyard and filled it with peaches. She said, "I am sure there is someone in town who wants to exchange apples for peaches." And so Hazel went out of the door. Soon Hazel came to a yard with many hens and geese. What a noise they made! In the middle of all these birds, there was a young woman. They both waved at each other. Hazel told the young woman about her peaches and how she hoped to trade them for apples so she might have an apple pie that night. Ah, said the young woman, my children love nothing more than peach jam and bread, but I do not have apples to trade for your peaches. But I can give you a bag of feathers instead. Will you take my feathers for your peaches? At least her children would be happy. If not me, thought Hazel. She poured the peaches into the young woman's basket, put the bag of feathers in her basket, and went on her way. Trudge, trudge, up a hill and down, past the farm, past the garden. Lovely, Hazel said. as she came up to a garden gate looking stunning with beautiful roses lilies and tulips she had never seen such a garden gate before hazel heard the sounds of a girl and a boy arguing loudly from the garden inside cotton said the girl straw said the boy and so they went back and forth Then the two of them saw Hazel at the gate. The girl asked Hazel, "Good lady, if you were making a cushion for your grandfather's armchair, what would you stuff it with? Straw or cotton?" "Neither cotton nor straw. I have something better," Hazel said. "Here, a cushion stuffed with feathers is fit for a king." What a fine cushion we can make with these they said they were very happy They gave Hazel the most beautiful bunch of flowers for her kindness Hazel was glad that the two young people were now happy with each other and she went on her way Soon Hazel came upon a young lord but he looked sad Hazel wished him and asked about the reason for his trouble i do not have a gift for my wife and it's her birthday today he replied oh you can give this wonderful bouquet to your wife said hazel the flowers made the lord so glad that he smiled and gave a gold chain to hazel gold chain cried hazel with this I can buy all the apples in the king's market. She hurried to the market as fast as she could. But Hazel had gone not too far when she came upon an old woman with her grandchildren who looked very sad. They did not have even a single piece of bread to eat. Hazel also felt very sad. I cannot think of eating an apple pie for supper. while those near me have no bread she put the gold chain 
into the grandmother's hands and rushed off. The grateful woman ran up to Hazen and said, We want to thank you with this little dog. His barking will keep loneliness from your house. So Hazel put the little dog in her basket and started walking. A bag of feathers for a basket of peaches. A bunch of flowers for a bag of feathers. A gold chain for a bunch of flowers. And a dog for a gold chain. All the world is a give and take, said Hazel and walked towards her home. Only a few yards ahead, Hazel saw an apple tree full of red apples. This tree grew in front of an old house and on the porch of the house was a little old man. That is a fine apple tree you have, said Hazel. Yes, said the old man, but apple trees and apples do not give me company. I am growing old and I wish I had a dog instead. Bow wow, barked the dog in the old woman's basket. And in no time, the little dog was barking on the old man's doorstep. And Hazel had a basket full of apples. If you try long and hard enough, you can always have what you want, said the very happy lady as she hurried back home. That night, Hazel baked herself a delicious apple pie and ate it down to the very last crumb. The end! For more such fun videos, please like and subscribe.